The Road to Kentucky Derby 149 presented by Woodford Reserve lands in New Orleans for the Grade 2 Risen Star. The first 50 points race as we continue to march towards Louisville. One year ago, Steve Asmussen had an ace up his sleeve in Epicenter, won the Risen Star convincingly, went on to win the Louisiana Derby second in the Kentucky Derby. This year, he fires three shots, hoping that one of those can progress naturally towards the next steps, including Silver Heist. Yes, yeah, Silver Heist, a very well-bred Colt, light on experience, Joe, comes in off a third place effort. It gets determinedly in Tappet's Conquest, he didn't really have much of an excuse that day. Had a very good trip, but we know Steve is very capable, to say the least, at developing horses. This is a horse that deserves a shot in this race, but is a bit of an outsider. He won on debut. He ran third in his first two turn try, and Steve is hoping for that natural progression to take another step forward. Like you said, he's going to need to, but again, for Steve Asmus, the trainee, the price is going to be right. Should be a very big price. I would expect it to be bigger than his morning line price, in fact, but understandably so. It's hard for me as a horse player to be attracted to a horse that just faced two of these horses and got a perfect trip and was simply outrun. Yeah, no doubt about it. One of three in the race for trainer Steve Asmussen, Silver Heist, probably one of the bigger prices in this year's edition of the Risen Star. Goes as race number 13 on a six stakes jam-packed car coming up on Saturday at Fairground.